Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to dive into queues within the context of Nest.js. I have initiated a Nest.js project using the Nest CLI and have it up and running in development mode. In the app controller, we will add a route name called GenReport with a parameter type. Within this service, we will establish a corresponding method. Inside this method, a time-consuming task will be executed. To manage this, we will implement a promise that will resolve after a specified time. If we use Postman to send a request to this route, we will notice that this route hangs due to internal processing. To solve this, we can implement use. This way, user receives instant response while time consuming tasks are handled in background. To use SKUs in NestJS, NestJS offers bool packages. To set up and install, we will install NestJS slash bool and the bool package. Also, we have to ensure that our Redis server is up and running because bool uses Redis as purchased job data. After installing input bool module to the root app module and use the for root method to set up a configuration for all queues in our application. In the Redis setting, we will use the Redis configuration by default it will be host is localhost and the port will be 6379 which is Redis default port. To add jobs to a queue, inject the queue into the service constructor using inject queue decorator from NestJS bool package. Define a token within inject queue as a string like repeat queue. Register the queue in bool using bool module dot register queue in the module and passing the token in name property. To add a job, use the queues add method with a name. This lets you create dedicated consumer for processing jobs with that name. You can customize jobs using an option object for specific modification. Now for our job, let's define a consumer that handles background processing. Create a new file and a class decorated with actor processor. Use the queue name token from the app module page start queue and import it in app module and provide in provider set. In this consumer class, add a method, for example, generate report and decorate it with process and the job name, which used in service while job creation. This method accepts a job parameter containing the job's data, where we can find job type, job data, processing, and other stuff. With the setup complete, now we can perform our lengthy task within inside this method. As an example, I have included logs for job initiation and completion. Next, open Postman and send a request to this route. You will notice its immediate get resolved. With the response displaying the job data which return from our service. Meanwhile, in the console, the initial job logs will appear, followed by additional logs will be printed after 30 seconds when the task is resolved. Provides few events while the job state changes. 
and is just a large bull package gives us few decorator which we can use inside the consume for example let's say first we will import those decorator from Nesjs bull and after that we can define for example on active when a job is active this event will be triggered and when a job is completed this event will be triggered if i save this and make a request from postman you will notice that the processing job id this event is triggered and after a 30 second we will able to see this completed event will be fired console log will be printed in our console log bool has lots of events for example in sjs documentation we can able to see there are few local and global event reseller which you can use for your name. that's it about nsjs key implementation thank you for watching see you in next video